when Basecamp was first released um, for PC, I was fairly tempted to try it out. So I downloaded it from the uh, uh, Garmin website and took some of the files that I'd created um, in Garmin Map Source and imported them. Um, and I was somewhat uh, shocked at what happened to them when I applied the motorcycling profile, uh, the motorcycling user profile that's uh, set up in uh, Basecamp. It absolutely took the roots and tore them to shreds um, in most cases. Um, however, I've recently discovered um, the reason for that and have come up with a way to uh, to change it. I don't know, don't know whether um, Garmin um, set up the defaults uh, in, the, in the motorcycling profile um, intentionally or whether it works differently given um, the uh, road network in America, I'm not sure. But um, it certainly doesn't seem to work for me in Europe um, and the way that I've traditionally worked with, uh, um, with uh, route planning on the PC for my Garmin. Um, so, right, let's uh, quickly demonstrate. This is a route um, in the Black Forest um, coming over from where we're staying in the Vosges Mountains that we're doing in uh, late June this year. Um, and anyway, here it is in, in uh, MapSource as created. So I took that and saved it as a MapSource GDB file and then imported it into Basecamp. Here it is in Basecamp. It, as you can see, it looks pretty well the same, which is great. Um, when you import a map source GDB file, um, it actually gets imported with a root uh, with a sorry a, a user pro user usage profile of none. You can see this up here, uh, which is fine. It's sort of a, a null version that doesn't really have any avoidances um, and doesn't do anything. So it shouldn't adjust your route um, unless you had avoidances set up in map source, um, which I tended not to not to have any drastic ones. Um, However, as soon as you apply the motorcycle pro motorcycling profile to it, um, it uh, you know, I'll demonstrate what it does. So if we change this now to motorcycling, um, it will automatically recalculate as it's doing now. And there we go. There is a huge difference between what I originally had in map source and now what uh, Basecamp thinks I should be doing. Um, so. To, to rectify this, um, what you have to do is you have to go in and change the uh, the values for the motorcycling profile. To do that, if you go into Utilities, Options, it'll bring up the Options pane, and within that you have the Activity Profile um, for motorcycling. Now you can see here that it has a lot of things. This isn't necessarily the exact settings as, it's default, uh, as it defaults to, because I've had to revert back, but it was something like this, um, with, with plenty of the avoidances checked, um, which obviously um, affected the route quite drastically. If you compare this to the automotive profile, you can see there are very few checked. So what I'm going to do is, in effect, replicate the automotive profile for motorcycling. Now, I don't know that sounds weird, but I want to um, adjust my routes the way I want them, rather than um, the way that Garmin think I should um, have them set up. So right, there we go, it's faster time, only avoiding unpaved roads, carpool lanes and narrow trails, which makes it the same as automotive. Uh, do you want to change it? Yep. Yeah. Yes, recalculate. So now, if you compare motorcycle and automotive, they're the same. As you can see, my route in the motorcycling profile is now as I want it. In a similar vein, on the um, Zumo 660, um, you need to set up the uh, avoidances um, in a similar fashion. Um, and to do that, um, you need to select the motorcycling profile, um, which is profile there. It'll switch to that automatically if you're in the motorcycle cradle. Um, and then go into Tools, Settings, Navigation, Avoidances. And here you'll see, the, the, again, I'm not sure whether these are the defaults, but um, it's not far off it. There were, there were plenty of them checked when I first opened it. Um, you then go in and uncheck all of them. I'm unchecking all of them with the exception of unpaved roads. Um, I have no desire to go off-road, I don't have a GS um, or any off-road pretension, so uh, I'm going to leave that checked. Um, you can come in and selectively um, check these if you want to. For example, if you want to avoid toll roads, um, you can do that and it'll adjust your route accordingly. Um, 
But however, for um, normal use, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, we then come back up. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.